Hi, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. As Art Kirsch and I review another great old film or TV show uh, from the Vintage Film Channel, this time it's Wagon Train, mm. um, famous, famous, uh, iconic TV series uh, about the Old West. Um, 300 episodes or close to 300 episodes over eight year period. And the name, of course, associated most closely with Wagon Train was Ward Bond. Right. Yeah, Ward, uh, Ward Bond actually, um, uh, actually, I'm going to cut to the movie. Uh, Ward Bond actually died in season four. This is eight seasons. I remember watching many, many, many of them. Uh, Ward Bond was actually in two movies, one in 1930 and uh, let's see, the other one in 1950. And both had, uh, one was called uh, The Big Trail and the other one was called Wagon Master. Uh, so he was actually the inspiration for this uh, entire series. He died in the fourth uh, season. Uh, I think this fellow was McIntyre who took it to the end. I remember watching them and they were they were really interesting and they always had a big star. This particular episode has Rory Calhoun. Uh, yeah. And I, uh, I, I watched it and I enjoyed it, quite frankly, as much as I did when I originally watched it. But this was 200 and... 80 plus episodes over an eight uh, year span, which is, you know, that like that close to uh, uh, what the 30 some odd episodes a year that they used to shoot. And yeah. uh, these are pretty extensive. So they did a lot of work well, to get these out. You bring up a, a good point, pretty expensive. It was a high production value. Mm. Um, and they shot a lot outdoors, shot on film, beautifully done, edited. Um, and of course, there's an Indian village. You know, they've got a Western town. They had a bunch of regular characters like the cook and the wagon master. Um, but they always had a new story every week, a one hour episode. And the new story would inevitably uh, feature another famous uh, TV or movie star, in this case, Rory Calhoun. But mm -hmm. look at the production value, um, which is pretty good uh, for those days, as opposed to a lot of... Uh, stuff that's done on a set soundstage. Right, and a lot of these were shot in uh, 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 Northern California, well, north of LA, uh, with, when they still had ranches in the 50s and 60s there, and Arizona, New Mexico, uh, so you don't see uh, overhead lines or anything else. They didn't have to edit them out because they were shooting in areas that were pretty pristine and looked like they might've looked uh, 100, 200 years ago uh, in this time period, but there's Rory Calhoun. Uh, there, by the way, the fellow on the right, uh, uh, I forgot his name, but he he was uh, a guy. He played a guy named Wilson, who was the the cook, and he was. Oh yeah, Frank. Was, uh, Frank, what's his name? McGrath. Is that Frank right? McGrath. Frank McGrath, right? And yeah, he was great he was character. A, great character. Actor. He was in every single uh, yeah. episode for the entire eight year run. So. Yeah, I I call I call that guy a Gabby Hayes fill in yep. uh -huh. because Gabby Hayes was the prototype old um, old grizzled uh, cowboy. Hey, yeah, you bet. <laughs> right. Anyway, great series. You have to watch this on the Vintage Film Channel. You'll enjoy it. It's it's a well written, well produced um, cowboy genre, and uh, I think you'll enjoy the stories. The acting's fine, and the stories are good. Um, I don't know how many of these episodes Gracie has mm -hmm. uh, uh, saved for the Vintage Film Channel, but this one is uh, the last season of the series. It's worth watching. Absolutely. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.